the Michigan 15 and 0 record. Is it true Jim Harbaugh is going to get that tattooed on him? Is that true, Blake? We were on the we were on the bus last night, and coach said he's getting it tattooed. And then the rest of the coaches, Coach Hart, Coach Moore, uh, all all the coaches said I'm gonna get tatted too. So I believe all the coaches on our staff um, will get the 15 and 0 tat. What is it about Jim Harbaugh? Do you think that relates to people of your generation, Blake? You know, coach is just a, a player's coach. You know. Someone you can relate with, someone you can go to on or off the field issues, but someone that just loves the game of football, you know, and guys my age, guys that, you know, come to college to dominate and just for the love of the game, you know, that's that's someone you want to be coached by because he puts in a lot of hours, a lot of sweat, you know, tears. And um, you know, coach is someone that I'm just so blessed that I was able to be coached by the last four years of my career. Um, it's been a heck of a journey learning from him, listening to him. Um, he, he's one heck of a coach, and, you know, he's a winning coach. Everywhere he's been, you know, you name it, Stanford, you know, the 49ers here, he's always won, you know, and uh, that's what he loves to do. Why Why is this team so resilient, Blake? Everybody knows what happened this year where, where Jim wasn't there for six games and the last three placing into question your accomplishments and your teammates' accomplishments. And I know, you know, the whole hashtag bet, social media tweets and whatever came out. But but how do you put that into practice? Blake? You know, when we faced adversity, because we faced a lot of it this year, we knew we had to stick together. And, you know, Team 144, this is a special team. And a team that I thought couldn't get any closer because of how, how close we are, we managed to do so. So when we faced adversity, when we faced, you know, trials and tribulations, all we did, all we had to do, was keep our eye on the prize and look to the right and our left and tell our brother, like, you know, we have each other's back and no one's going to stop us from reaching the end goal, you know, and that's why we were so successful this year when we faced so many, which could have been distractions. And what's your response to people who say that uh, your accomplishments are um, uh, asterisk worthy, Blake? How do you handle that? You know, you know those are uh, most likely, you know, just people that just, you know, have no better – Nothing, nothing else better to do in life than hate, um, you know, so they can think whatever they want. But, uh, you know, I'll always re be remembered as a champion. And so will my brothers. And no one can take that from us. We are national championships, na national champions. The Michigan Wolverines are national champions. And then did you take a moment when you got in the end zone in the Rose Bowl? Again, I was there with my, my wife, kids. Um, it was incredibly special for me, but I, again, I, uh, I'm in my fifties and I covered Bo Schembechler's last team in that stadium. There's nothing like it. And you got in the end zone in overtime against Alabama. Did you, did you look up, take it in, take a mental picture or you really can't sort of live in that you moment know, like that? You know, every, everything happened so fast. You know, I, I didn't really take a mental picture, but you know, when we were, I told the guys, you know, we get the opportunity. Because Alabama had us on our heels, and we had to go down and, and score. If we have the opportunity to go into overtime, we're going to win. And we did that. You know, we, the offensive line was firing, tightness were firing, receivers were firing, and we managed to get in the end zone. And off of that run, uh, you know, when I entered, you know, I, I wasn't able to take in the moment like I wanted to. But I have watched it multiple times, and uh, it's one of my favorite runs, that's for sure. And what's next for you? Do I see you in Indianapolis in a, in a month and a half, Blake? You will, you will see me there. Okay. I will see I will see you at the Combine. And then, by the way, your draft is in Detroit. How cool is that, right? That's, right there in the state. Uh, of and again, it, but it's so wild. I know you're from Virginia. I'm from New York. But there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it being a Wolverine. Uh, no. like, you know? uh, there's, no, there's nothing like it. This, is as, this has been the best decision I ever made in my life to come to the University of Michigan to be around a bunch of Michigan men and women, uh, best decision ever. And, you know, I'm so grateful and uh, honored to be a Wolverine. And now I'm, I'm an alum. So uh, it, it's a great feeling. That is right. Um, and I'll ask you this question. Do you think you're going to see Jim Harbaugh in the NFL next year? Blake? You, know, you know, I'm not sure uh, what Coach Harbaugh uh, is going to do, but when you're such a great coach like that, everyone wants you. You know, Michigan wants you, you know, you name it. You know, you see all the teams in the NFL that might be interested 
you know, that's just because he wins. He wins, and when you win, everyone wants you. So I'm not sure what uh, Coach Harbaugh would do. I know he has decisions and opportunities to make, but I talked to him this morning, and right now he's just taking in the moment because this is a precious moment, and, you know, you don't want to look past it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.